Today we're trying out the Ambiano Quick and Easy Electric Potato Peeler. Now this is only 85 watt machine. I'm not sure how good it's going to be, but it was $29.99 so I'm hoping it's decent. It's got a safety lid. It's got a cord storage. It's got a transparent lid so you can see what's going on inside. Peels up to a kilo of potatoes at once and it's nice and simple to use. So let's get this out of the box and see what we're looking at. So this comes with the basic user manual, the cleaning and care guide. It's got the regular three year warranty in here, the parts, how to set it up and how to use it. It does only mention potatoes in here, but I have read somewhere that you can do apples as well, but it doesn't say that in the manual. There are just four parts to this. We've got the main base unit with the simple on off switch. Feels light and very plasticky. And yes, there is cord storage just underneath there. The cord is not very long. On top of this sits the main bowl. It lines up with that base unit and quite simply presses it together. Inside here goes the cutting blades, which are quite savage, so do be careful with that. It's just a simple disc that sits inside. That's where you're gonna pour the potatoes. And we've got a nice easy fix lid that sits on the top. And the machine does only work when that put that in line, is locked into place. So it looks fairly straightforward. We've got some potatoes. Let's get it plugged in. So I've set us up on a sturdy surface. I've got here a kilo of potatoes, random shapes and sizes, but all from the same bag. We're simply going to pop those inside. It says no more than a kilo, but make sure you cover the discs. There we go. We need the lid fastened on. And the right way around, we've got a catch and a safety right there. And it's going to take about two minutes according to the manual. Now, I don't know how loud this is going to be, but everything's ready to go. So let's see. It's been just over a minute and a half. It looks like it's doing something in there, but I have to say the machine is moving around quite a lot. So I've pressed it down a little bit firmer on the suction pads. And they're definitely not peeled fully. So let's give it a little bit longer.
Now I've already decided this wouldn't work for apples or they would be bruised and beaten. The machine is definitely sliding and jumping around a little bit. I've got one hand on it because I wouldn't want it to jump off the edge of the counter there. But let's have a little look and see how those potatoes are actually doing inside. I'm just going to check. That's definitely not going to turn on when the lid is off. I don't want to put my hand in there. So, what we've got, it does say once they're peeled, they will need to be washed. And of course, they've got this peel kind of just stuck around the edges. It's not able to get in where there's little dimples in the potatoes. But it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's, it's doing a fairly okay job. They've been in for just over two minutes. It says don't run the machine for more than four minutes at a time. I think I'm still going to need to use a knife just to tidy those potatoes up. But let's give them a rinse and see how good they actually look. So this is the end result. And this is what we've landed on. I think if you had perfectly round potatoes, it would work much better. But how many of us can buy perfectly round potatoes? I'm going to need to use a knife on those to tidy them up. It'll probably end up taking as long as peeling. And it's left the potatoes with quite a rough feel to them. So there we have it. That's the Ambiano Quick and Easy Electric Potato Peeler. It was certainly quick and easy at doing the basic job, but tidy up of those potatoes and wash up of equipment is going to be a whole lot longer. So hopefully someone's found that review useful. Thanks for watching.